I know. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, we and, go. and we are live. What is going on, folks? Welcome to another episode. Nine Nerd Yards. We're your nerds. What's happening? This is a special Atlanta episode because we're not breaking down an episode. We're interviewing one of the one of the actors from the show. But before we get into it, let's introduce the panel and then we'll get right to the interview. First off, first off, you know him, you love him out of the mean streets, Denver, Colorado. It's Terry, producer T. How you doing, Terry? Producer T, that is me. I like to introduce myself as producer. We really don't have titles on this job. But I was like, I'm going to look as professional as possible and be like, I'm a co- No, I'm a producer now. <laughs> Hell yeah. I am, I am uh, you know, vice president, and I guess we have the treasurer, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, what's going on, bro? I mean, good stuff, but guys, I'm not good with money. We got to switch my role. <laughs> As the we'll YWA, a- you got to take on a lot of <laughs> You got to do it. You got to do it, bro. That's fair. That's fair. When greatness <laughs> is thrust upon you, greatness is expected. Yeah. Of course. And if, if I'm the vice president, we got to introduce the president of this entire channel, the show, the man of the hour, the reason – that we're all here. It's nine from Nine Nerd Yards. Nine, how you doing, baby? What's up, y'all? I'm doing great, man. <laughs> and I cannot believe that we have this special presentation of Nine Nerd Yards, joined by our esteemed guests. He already knows what it tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> of course, from the episode Crank That Killer, we have Keith Holiday. Uh, and and if you you're like, well, Keith, what, what part? Do- Go go back to the the mall part, and if you already know what that tastes like, so does he. Keith, how you doing, baby? <laughs> I'm doing <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> you gotta pause that, man. But I'm doing pretty good. Man. <laughs> <laughs> like it just it, it just went way left, man. Like he already knows what it tastes like. Like whoa, wait a minute. Bring it back. Yo. Let's bring it uh, back. This is, this is starting oh. off great. Yes. Oh my god! <laughs> if you don't know that inside joke, that just went way outside. So. <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> and I just told y'all before we got on here, a lot of people watching this now. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we got the hard stuff out of the way, Keith, how you doing, man? I'm doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. Glad to be here. Thanks for having I, me. I, you're you're very welcome, man. So I saw, uh, like, just to give a little backstory. You filmed this this part in Atlanta, like. It was a year ago, over over a year ago. It was right? it was about a year ago, around I want to say, damn, I had to go through the emails. I want to say somewhere between August twenty sixth and twenty eighth of last year, we filmed okay. that episode. Okay, wow. man. Okay. Yeah. So walk us through this. This is, is I was just I'm getting all this information not from like TMZ but from your Instagram mm-hmm. post. So was this your first <laughs> acting role or yeah, what? This was yeah. So this was my first role I ever booked. Um, oh, I've man. only been. Like if we're counting last year, I've only been in the industry for about a year and a couple months. Okay. Uh, I've been I've been training uh, here in North Carolina at in, uh, this school called In Studio. I've been training with them since like 2018. My coach was like, "Hey man, you you're doing an amazing job. You, you you're growing, and I think you're ready to get out there and start you know auditioning and stuff." So when I first got in there, um, got headshots and everything at the time. So <gasps> I, what you don't know is that I actually had braces in that episode. Oh shit. So, so when I got my head shots, I was with a, a agency called Evolution. Um, I was struggling trying to figure out like the ins and outs of auditioning, so I was just winging it. And then one day, uh, I just got off work and saw I had this uh, had this audition for Atlanta. Okay. I just w- I just went in there in my work clothes, and when I read the line, <laughs> I was like, when I read the line, it was crazy because I was like, oh, this doesn't even require acting. Like this is this is some shit I say. You know, so, so I was just like, I was just like, all right, just go ahead and turn the camera on and we're just gonna wing it. So I did it, and in my mind, I was like, I'm not gonna book. It is what it is, you know. Back back to work in the morning. I was playing, uh, it was crazy. Like some days later, I was playing Madden with uh one of my close friends, and I was okay. on the phone with him, and I saw an email and it said booking Atlanta, and I was like. First thing I thought, I'm like, yo, I didn't book no room in Atlanta. So I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yo, so I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like, yo, J-Mo, I'm going to have to call you back. And so I looked at it again. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I booked this part. So that's lit. So 
Nice. The turnaround was crazy because, you know, we were still in the pandemic. So I had to go right, down. Right, I had right. to drive down like Wednesday to take a COVID test and come back Friday. So imagine what my work life was like going down to Atlanta after work, <laughs> like on Wednesday and Friday, <laughs> like right. gas money out the ass. So yeah. how, um, how long's that drive? Yeah. where, no, it, where you it, it was about uh, I'm in Greensboro, North Carolina. So it's like, oh, four out, like four, four and a half hours. Like, wait, wait, wait. round trip or one way? Nah, one way. So oh, imagine, yeah. So oh, baby boy. So my last time when I had to uh, take the COVID test for the second time, I actually took it that morning and straight from Atlanta, I went right to work, which was on like Friday. So I went straight oh to work. God. Yeah, so I was struggling, man. But, you know, all in, you know, it's, it's something that I, I feel like I'm called to do. It's a passion of mine. And um, I went for it. I told my, at the time I told my, uh, my my supervisor, I was like, hey, I already got my employees set. We already know we're running on a production line. They're good. He was like, yo, I don't really care what you do as long as the line running. Cool, no problem. So I told him what it was. I was like, hey, I booked this role. You know, I you know they already knew what was up in the interview. I go down, everything cool, man. When I got there, it was just like it really ain't even hit me because one of my homeboys was like, yo, you don't understand how big this is. Like Atlanta's like a cult classic. I was right. like, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> I was just like, okay, all right, cool. I get down there and I see what's up. So when I got there, uh, I got I had to be on set at like four in the morning. Just and to pause was, you real quick, Keith, had yeah. you had you been a fan of the show up until this point? Yo, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a fan of Childish Gambino and Lakeith Stanfield. So I watched it, you know what I'm saying, yeah. sparingly. Yep, yep. But I ain't got I ain't had no cable at the time when it was on. Okay. So okay. Yeah, it was like, you know, now that we streaming, I can go back and, and binge. Right. Mm-hmm. So when I got on set, it was like it was it was it was like foreign, like everything happened so fast. Like when I got there, they already knew who I was. They was like, Yeah, we got you in your trailer. I'm like, yo, that's new because I ain't never had no trailer. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Yeah. I went there, they uh they had me in wardrobe. I got in wardrobe, they gave I gave them the correct size of jeans. Clearly, somebody gave me like a 34 and I wear a 38. Okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so they was like, you know what? We just gonna go with your jeans. I'm like, yeah, that'll work. And I go, I go, <laughs> so I go in the hair, and you know, I already went down with a fresh haircut because I didn't I didn't know, dog. Like, I ain't know nothing about it. So I get down there, they were like, yeah, you know, we're going to touch you up. So I'm in hair, I'm in makeup. I'm like, yo, this is the life. Like, I can get used to this shit. So um, once I get on set, man, they they had me uh, they had me in holding. Um, I met with Hero, and we did a couple run-throughs, and we started filming. And, like, every time I, every time I said my line, like, he was laughing. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and I'm sitting here, like, I'm, I'm 35 and I'm sitting here and I'm nervous as hell saying it. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm like, and, and I'm looking at him like, do we like it? Do we not like it? Is he going like, he right. acts like, yo, we're going to get somebody else. And he's like, hey, that was really, that was, that was hella funny. Can we do it this way? I'm like, yeah, man, I can, I can do whatever way you want. Whatever you know, way you want. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, what I'm saying? you know, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a go. We can do that. So I'm giving them like different runs. And I was just like, bet. Like, thank you, God, for this opportunity like that. And right. that was just dope. Yeah. So, so once I rapped, that's when I found out that Paperboy was on the other side of Greenbrier, but I couldn't get over there. So I was like, ah, that sucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's man. Man. You should so, have uh, tried to go over there and spit some rhymes at him, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to follow Roberto, man, because he's like, my guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you got to vendor. So, so um, were you, like, uh, rehearsing the lines with Roberto just standing there, or was it kind of like a yeah. stand-in situation? Yeah. Yeah, so what he did was, what Hero did was um, he bought us in when, when it was time for us. He bought he bought in um, Roberto, he bought in Chartreuse, and, and myself, and we all just ran through our lines. Um, and we did that, like, maybe, I want to say, like, three or four times before we actually started, like, shooting. Mm-hmm. So... And something I've wondered, so like how many takes would you say Hero took of, of just your line? My line, I shit, I wanna say <laughs> <laughs> bro, I probably did I probably did that like six, maybe seven times. Okay. Okay. Like, you know all what right. I'm saying? And it was it was all in a different speed because the first time I did it, like, you know, I'm walking by and I'm walking by so fast. 
it hit me like, damn, I said my line after the camera. Like, I'm the hell's going on? Yeah. Like, I, like I <laughs> right. walk by and it's all you just hear is, nigga, everybody already know, already know what it tastes like. And you don't even see me. Yeah, it was like, yo, we, can we can we slow it down? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I'm just nervous. Forgive me. You're just so. It was just, I was happy to be there, man. For real. I ain't, I, man, I can't even imagine. Um, like, for so, real. for anybody who is, uh, uh, let's see here. Who, who is confused about what may be going on right now or what line specifically. I do just have a little bit of a uh, teaser of that line. Let me see yes. if I can pull that up for us. Um, let's see here. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> By the way, I love the title, Free Sample. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> uh, he looks so disappointed. You should just try this chicken, Keith. Come on, man. <laughs> like, like, bro, I think like, you got to think about it. Everybody know what bourbon chicken tastes like, dog. Why, why are y'all giving us free samples of the same shit? Bro, Keith, okay. Keith, that brings You're up a good question. Same age, right? We're all like 35, 34. Yeah. And like, come on. Like, it was like 2003, 2004 when bourbon chicken started from everybody's yeah. mall, and it still Yo, hasn't gone away. So, bourbon like, chicken had people line, in a chokehold. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had him in a chokehold. Oh, yo, I was in a mall when I was like eight, and my mom got some, and I was like, yeah, I was like, damn, this, 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 this is the first time I cursed. I was like, damn, this is good. <laughs> like for Keith, real, Keith. The funny thing is, the first time I remember trying it is also in a damn mall food court. <laughs> <laughs> Back in Niles, Illinois, man, Golf Mill Mall. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you can't find it no place else. Just the fucking food court. Any restaurant in the world that has bourbon chicken. Yeah. Mall. <laughs> I, be, I be trying to tell people like, yo, if you make some dry ass bourbon chicken, you need your ass beat, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! Oh, I didn't see it going there. <laughs> But yeah, man, it that was that was a fun time, man. That was that that probably will be um no matter how far I go in my acting career, that will probably be the most capital moment in my career, like for real. Dude, that's, that's what's awesome. up, man. That's what's up. Were you, I mean, yeah, were you there the whole time point. of of shooting or or you just there for no, for the one day? No, nah, I was I was just really there for just that one time. Okay. okay. Like just that okay. one time they bought me in to do my just to do my my spill and then after that i was gone so i didn't get a chance to see the closest i i saw donald glover was on the monitor like mm, okay. when i was going through you know they was putting me through the mic test and everything and i didn't get a chance to see lakeith stanfield i didn't get a chance to see none of the the main cast mm -hmm. it was just yeah. me you're in Roberto, and yeah it's just like once i'm done Man, appreciate you coming, like coming, basically, yeah. like you know, appreciate you coming through, man. Right. Yeah. It, so. It's got to be a fast-paced situation, especially that oh, episode. Yeah. It takes uh, that one has a lot more, I guess, like sequences to it that are just higher pace, a lot more choreography, a lot more people in that uh, ruckus. Um, mm -hmm. And it, it's actually in the mall. It was actually in the mall, or yeah, it was in. It was, as a matter of fact. It was in uh, Greenbrier Mall in the morning. Like that joint was closed. So when you look at the scene and you see like the patrons and the shoppers and everything, like that was all background. That was all extra. But it looked oh, like yeah. the mall looked like it was like smooth. Yeah, open. no, that like, episode the stores were open packed. and everything. Yeah, yeah, like it was crazy. Like it was so, crazy. So you said, uh, but you know that you were a fan of Childish Gambino before this and everything. So. How crazy was it meeting Hero, who I mean has done so many of Gambino's uh, music videos? I mean, I gotta mention that was a pretty cool moment for you, man. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Like meeting Hero, every everything happened so fast, it didn't even like really hit you yet. It, Can't it, register. It, it, it yeah. didn't hit me. It mm -hmm. didn't hit me until like I got on the road and I was like, damn. I really met some real people. It's crazy, like, and it's because how can I say this? 
we're we're all regular people, like we're normal people. <laughs> right. When, when like, and I'm just speaking for myself. When I see people on TV, I'd be like, "Yo, do you know who you are?" And it's like, I mean, well, yeah, you know. So yeah. seeing them, it's like, oh shit, like I'm I'm really here. Mm-hmm. Hold on. First of all, before I even go any further, can I curse on here? Because I've been saying uh, absolutely, yeah, 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 absolutely, okay. as right, much cool. as you Let's fucking see. want. All right, yeah, cool. Just <laughs> I just had to make sure. So, Terry yeah, man, just man. exhaled a giant plume, man. You're good. <laughs> no, man, you get so, cursed. This is a family. I just story. downed a giant whiskey drink. You're fine, man. All right, man. So when I, when I met when I met Hero, it didn't even like really really like register with me. Like, damn, I'm really like this is like really Hero. And really so like I got on the road, it was guys. just like damn everything because everything happened so fast. I really wasn't even in like. Like I couldn't even like really like savor the moment for real, right? Like mm-hmm. that's how fast that's that's literally how fast it happened. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting, yeah, man. So. Yeah, because you really can't sleep on Hero. He's like such a uh, incremental part to what Atlanta has become and what it has been. And oh fact. yeah, just in yeah. fact, man. And and I I can't say this enough, man, because I was when y'all tweeted me on Twitter and then Atlanta FX like added me and i was i was <laughs> i was I, it, 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 that that low key kind of had me shook i was like oh shit they really oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't, and it was like yo i didn't know what to say you know what i'm saying i didn't know what to say if i say my line or i just i was just like you know what? i'm just do the praying hands and say thank you and i'm just gonna keep it moving <laughs> fair yeah. very fair yeah. i love it all right so key so you film it mm-hmm. then this new season this, this last season the new season starts Mm-hmm. you're you're anticipating you're like hey man i'm about to be on this everybody i'm sure i'm sure friends family bro they're like keith baby i'm about to see i'm about to see you blow up you're about to go hollywood here's a moment man <laughs> like walk so, me through that process of seeing yourself like and then people seeing you and being like bro yes this is this is it all right so check this out yes so <clears throat> after i filmed it i told i told my my then girlfriend she's my fiance now Oh, congratulations. Um, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I told her, I mean, she already knew what the show was. Like, for whatever reason, she know more than I do. I I, I don't understand it. <laughs> um, I told I told my home, I told my close friend Jameson, I told my close friend Moses, and I, I keep what I do, I keep it real, like real close to the vest. Like I keep it real like close, you know what I'm saying? I don't tell a lot of people. So when I was when I just decided to tell other people. They was like, oh, okay, cool. That's what's up. Season three hits, and I'm like, okay, where my where my shit at? You know, I know I know I'm in season four, but I'm like, all right, season three, because I'm we sitting here and I'm like, all right, bet. I'm because I'm thinking, you know, season four about to drop like that winter or something. So, you know, it's right there. Season three kicks up kicks kicks off in March. Right. And yeah. I had a couple people like repost the poster. They was like, yo, I can't wait to see this because my homeboy in it. And I didn't want to say, hey, I'm in, season three. Yeah. I'm in season four. So I just ain't say nothing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. But when season four hits, so when season four hits, I go on Twitter and I'm just like reposting with the cool eyes. I don't say too much. You know, <laughs> I just hit him with the, if you know, you know, if you don't, I mean, shit, that's on you. So, yeah. <laughs> so when it drops, the first thing that came that came to mind, I'm I'm I had it on Hulu, so I ain't really watch it live. So I'm just going through each each uh, episode, just waiting to get to mine. And I had this, uh, I have an issue with like this whole doubt thing. I mean, everybody does. Oh yeah. And when it when it happened, the first thing I thought I was like, dang, what if I make the final edit? And I didn't told all these people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah. I, like yeah. that would be like a, a hurtful deal. You know what I'm saying? Because you know a lot of people prey on your downfall. So mm-hmm. I was like, damn, if that really happened, well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be heartbroken, like for real. <laughs> and my, my homeboy Moses was like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, that would be some shit if it happened. I'm like, thanks for being consoling, bro. Thank you. Moses, if you're watching, that's really how I felt. Thank you. Moses, come on now, Moses. You know, What's up, man, Moses? Crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's, got, my, that's my he- guy though. He got new friends now, Moses. All right, oh, now I'm right. <laughs> no, that's that's no, that's my guy. 
but that's a good you, point because that's that's like a horror story you hear from a lot of uh, Hollywood, where it's like, "Oh, this is my big break," and then all of a sudden you they, they, you see mm-hmm. the final edit, and you're just not in it. And Bro, it's, oh, a, it's a real it's a real thing. It's a real thing. Um, Do you get that gotta, impression gotta, that gotta, that like kind of happens on the show a lot, or like there was other people uh, that were not filming Atlanta, other things? I, I know I know somebody that it, that's happened to. Oh, and yeah. they was like, bro, they was like, bro, I they they told me they was in it and I looked at it and I ain't see him. I ain't say nothing because you know I'm not that kind of person. And mm-hmm. I seen him in class and he was like, bro, they done edited me out the joint. I mean, I still oh. got paid for it, but they done edited me out. And I was like, damn, yeah. dog, I hate for that to happen to me. Like, that's crazy. So then I'm sitting here and I'm watching TV with my lady. Hey, can you get my, my other airpod? Sorry, I'm my fault. So I'm sitting here and I'm watching uh TV with my lady. And people from back home in uh, D.C., they they messaging me on Facebook like, yo, I just seen you on Atlanta. Congrats. And then uh, I was like, oh, shit. So, yeah, girl. Uh, <laughs> I'm, say, you you know, I'm on the other end. I'm on the yeah. other end trying to be cool. I'm like, oh, in my mind, I'm like, yeah. yeah. So I told my lady, I'm like, yeah, they saw me on Atlanta. That shit crazy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Scrolling through. The next morning. That's when, like, I sat back and I was watching that joint, and I was like, "Damn, that's really me." And then, like, all of a sudden, like, once I posted I it on Instagram, <laughs> no, real, real rap though, nine. I ain't gonna lie to you, like, a tear did <laughs> drop out my eye. Like, I'm not even lying, yeah, man. Man. because I knew that when I did that, you know what I'm saying? It like two things. One, when I got there, they had my name wrong. If you pay attention to the credits, they actually got my name in there twice. So no okay. way. Yeah, dead serious. So they have my name spelled with with one L. So when you get to the the next credits and it shows like Shopper, Chartreuse, them the, like them four, it's like those four people. Yeah. My name is in there, but my name is in there wrong. They had one L. So then when I actually saw my name after Soldier Boy, like with correctly, I was like, word. That, <laughs> like thank crazy. you because I remember telling them because I it was on it was on my call sheet and everything. I'm like, hey, my name is spelled with two L's, not one. You know what I'm saying? So they was like, okay, right, we right. fix it. We're sorry about it. No, I was like, hey, it's cool, no problem. I'm just letting you know. So for them to ask, you know, to acknowledge that and to actually, you know, give me like my just credit, I'm like, right. I'm like, yo, that's I appreciate that. Like, I legit cry seeing my name on the standalone. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. dope. Yeah, that, that's uh, pretty crazy. Uh, let me um, see if I can actually that, get that. That also makes me feel a little better because uh, when when I Google searched you, I, I searched it with one L, and I was like, "What the fuck is this guy?" <laughs> so, so okay, it was, it was just me. All right. All right, let's uh, see. If we can, I, I, yeah, I didn't even look at the spotted. IMDb or anything. I just paused the credits and I kept rewinding. Yeah, yeah. Pausing, That's what I did. The names of people to contact. <laughs> I was like, let, me contact him. let me look him up. Let me see who he was. I was like, oh, is this guy cool? Let me get him. <laughs> <laughs> so is this uh, coming up here? All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. You said it's after Soldier Boy. Right after Soldier Boy, the guest starring. There he goes. Boom, boom. 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 Oh, okay, there we are. <laughs> oh, baby. Really, oh, come baby. back. Oh, baby, you went uh, too quick. Uh, 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 but put it reverse, tear it back up. All right. Hi there, there we go. There, there we go. Well, well, there's right the first right one. After, right after that's the right one. That's the one that's 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 that matters. Wait, wait. Here it is, right here. Oh, right one out. Out. <laughs> now, now, did you, yeah. did you get paid twice? Because, I mean, you're in there twice, <laughs> nah. I think. <laughs> yeah. nah, that I that seems like some bullshit. Twice, yo. I didn't <laughs> It was it was crazy because I didn't fun. even I ain't gonna lie to you, man. When I did that, I didn't even know how much I was gonna get paid until like I actually looked at it. I was like, damn, all this for one line? Oh, yeah. Oh. But come on, that was a gem of a line. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm beyond, I'm beyond, yeah like if I could be line, real with you, Jeff. Right yeah. Line is. I didn't know that that line was gonna smack like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, and when I mean that, I didn't know if I was like going to deliver the line how it should have been delivered but clearly you know man if they felt if they booked me clearly they felt i was going to deliver it but when i watched it back i was like damn that that shit was hilarious i mean like it was it stood out and what was kind of a transitionary scene you know it it was if 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 if, yeah i I just i just remember everybody can remember the first time they watched that episode (laughs) They for sure were like me. I'm like, I just cracked out laughing. I was just like, wow. <laughs> you don't want the chicken? Leave him alone. <laughs> and, and I think that's the thing. Like the about first, me. like, real major laugh. Yeah. That you yeah. got in that episode of just, Bad. like, just, it wasn't like a setup. 
it was just just punchline, boom, here it is. And that was like the first <laughs> one you got that episode. And it like set a real high tone because it's right? too relatable. Everybody who's ever been in a damn mall since 2000 <laughs> knows. No, they, no for tastes. real though. Like you gotta, you gotta know. Everybody know what it tastes like, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, and I mean, that's the thing about Atlanta too. I think it's uh, very much has like the backbone of building, being built off of like these, you know, uh, just random characters that are just entering the uh, uh, the show. And it doesn't even really matter if they appear again chronologically. We always just kind of remember these little moments with these characters that uh, just make up the world building of Atlanta. Yes. It's, it's really awesome. It's really right. awesome. I mean, we love Marcus Miles. How many lines did Marcus oh. Miles have? Zero. <laughs> no. We know that he just has the invisible a car post. Jacket. We know that man has the badass invisible car. Dude, oh, I mean, but he had a pet peacock. How are you going to hate on that shit? You know? Right. And that hat in the club. That's that he <laughs> that Jason. Jason, if you're watching. Oh, uh, Jason, we love you, man. We love you, Jason. Yeah, man. So, Keith, have you since gone back to watch the wonderful world that is Atlanta? You mean like not just my episode? Yeah, I mean, like the whole thing. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, like mm -hmm. absolutely, absolutely. Like I uh I've gone back, I've watched I watched season one last year around the time, you know, just to brush up on it, just to you know get the, the tone of the show. Mm -hmm. Um when season three dropped, I did watch that. Um when season four dropped, I did, you know, I went back and I watched everything. Um right now I'm on season two, like I just started that like it's it's, Ooh, it's it's oh it's i'm so excited it's, for you oh i'm thank you i'm excited for me too when i get a chance to actually you know it's, it's october so yeah like my fiance she loves october like this is like her mm -hmm. month like she loves halloween and all that so right now she i ain't really been watching too much of like anything except for scary stuff right now he, oh you'll get to a pretty to, like, creepy November. episode we got yes. a pretty creepy episode in season two um yeah uh, I, teddy perkins I think we're, I was you gotta watch it we're all going to make the same suggestion. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. want to watch something <laughs> creepy while it's still creepy season, uh, episode uh, was six? six? Two, episode six. six. Episode mm -hmm. six, season two. It's a Teddy Perkins episode. If you want to be a little creeped out, it's the perfect time to be creeped out. That is the episode for yeah. you, my friend. And you can actually just go skip to that episode. I, it's not yeah, like. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. yeah, you don't have to watch a whole but You're absolute kind of standalone. Down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. You'll appreciate. You'll appreciate. Oh my God, it. So if good. you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, um, you know, fam. And Keith's like about to got, know. Right, he's about to know. Um, <laughs> now it looks like we got a quite a few more people watching. So let me just play this clip oh, what's again. Up? Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, what's up, everybody? Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Um, we Attic. are with Keith Holiday. He was in episode six of the fourth season of Atlanta, and. You may know him from his interaction with our uh, breakout hip hop star Roberto. <laughs> Free sample. Free sample. <laughs> <laughs> And then back to free samples. <laughs> I mean, barely breaks off the phone conversation. <laughs> now, are, do they have someone on the other line for you? Just kind of like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Keith, Keith, you're you're muted, got you bro. muted, We got you muted, brother. My bad. I was I was going. I was switching off my AirPod because my lady said she wanted to hear it. So <laughs> very fair. <laughs> no, it was actually a it was a dummy phone, man. It was it, it was like completely off. So I had to like okay pretend. Yeah, I had yeah. to pretend. So. Okay, but yeah. Uh, I love it. Let's see. Here we got um, there. I think um, people are saying that you really, really uh, are cool with Donald like that now. So please tell Donald to drop human sacrifice. I don't. Uh, I'm not sure also, Keith, means. if you what could get him on our podcast, we'd really enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, yeah, hero, um, uh, uh, Ryan Terry, Zazi, Zazi would be my personal yeah, that, that's um, number know, one. request. Please uh, get her on. Yeah. Um, I, I will. Yo, if if Donald ever hit me up. I, I pro I probably pee on myself. <laughs> <laughs> that, that makes two of us. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, if he, if he hit me like if he, if, 
if he ever hits me like, yo, what's good? I'm <laughs> I'm probably gonna leave it on red for a little bit. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try to, try to play it cool. Yeah. yeah, you know I gotta play it cool because it'd be it'd be real weird if you be like, "Yo, what's good?" and be like, "I'm fine. How are you?" You know what I'm saying? Leave it on red. Go out, get some depends. Be prepared for when you gotta respond. I think it's smart. There you go. Right, there you go. There you go. No, but real no, talk, yeah. If if Donald Glover ever hit me up, then I'm quitting my job. I don't even care what it's about. I'll just be quitting my job. You know what? I'll, I'll walk out and, and be talking hella shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? In, in Target. They don't even know who I am. I don't care. <laughs> don't <look like> <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, you're going to be over there trying to return an air fryer. It makes sense. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. go back to these credits, though. This is crazy. Just um, because we're getting even more viewers, and I want to show these guys um, that – you know, you, know, real, like, you got your name right after Soldier Boy. In this Soldier movie. Boy. The Dude. crank that, the, the safe farm himself. <laughs> <laughs> that damn Soldier Boy, man. Starring Donald Glover, Brian Tyree, Lakeith. Lazzie, Here it is. Yes, sorry. Here it is. It's Soldier right Boy, Keith Boom. Holiday. Bang. That's big. And I don't know why, but I'm proud of you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, that means a lot, man. Thank you. It's like, awesome, real. man. I can't and I, and I'm not even saying that to be, you know, sarcastic or anything. Like, like that means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, when people mm -hmm. that you don't really, they don't know you, like, mm -hmm. they be like, yo, keep doing your thing. It's, it's little stuff like that that lets, like, and I'm speaking for myself. Mm -hmm. But it's little stuff like that that lets me know that you know I'm I'm doing the right thing and I'm on the right path. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, like for example, last week, a couple weeks ago, maybe like last month, I uh, I'm actually in a commercial, a local commercial here in Greensboro, and I went to a food truck, and the first thing they said was like, "Yo, I saw you on such and such. Is that is that?" I'm like, "Yeah, that's me." They're like, "Yo, that's dope," and I'm like, "Damn, that that's all right, man." Like. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It it, it it hit me right here in the heart, man. So, I would say so. that's amazing. I, would I say appreciate so. that, man. Keith, I think we'd be remiss if we didn't ask. Okay, so like, you you well, obviously this is your 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 first acting role. What a hell of a role to like start off with and and put on. Like, this is your rookie card, right? Like, what a way to start. But like, right. what like have you always wanted to do acting? Is there like you saw somebody acting? You're like, bro, like that's that's legit. That's what I want to do. I like, saw Troy and, commu and Community. <laughs> <laughs> so when i when i left college um i played college football uh when i left i played arena football for a little bit for about seven seasons oh shit and mm. when i came up on my last season a lot of people were asked well, shit like my my uncles and everything was asking me like well you know what's next and i was like well once i'm mm. done playing ball i want to get into comedy <laughs> <and acting." laughs> Please tell me that is for bourbon chicken. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Your local commercial. Yeah. Was that for bourbon no, chicken? No, 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 no. It wasn't. It was actually for a, a hospital here called Cone Health. So, yeah. Do yeah. they sell bourbon chicken, though? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the hospital? In the food court, they probably do. You know what I'm saying? Right? Oh, no free sample. Oh, no free sample. Yeah. So, um, Damn, what were we talking about? So oh, your your uncle asked what you were doing after oh, arena football. Right. What, yeah. what I was doing after um football. And I was like, well, I want to get into comedy and acting. So around about, say, 2016, 2017, I started doing stand-up for a little bit. Really? Um, yeah, I started doing stand-up for a little bit. That's where I met my homeboy Moses, I was telling y'all about. Um, and I was doing I was doing my thing with comedy for a little bit, uh, but acting always like tugged at me. You know what I'm saying? I've always wanted to do it. I used to like, I used to do voices in college and high school. I was the only child, so I ain't had no friends. Um, <laughs> Sorry to laugh. You know, this is a really good line. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> so I used to do, like, I would do voices. I would imitate people. I would act out scenes. Like when Bernie Mac dropped Soul Man, I would like recite his lines. And they'd be like, you sound, just, you sound just like Bernie Mac. You need to act. And I'm like, yeah, I would like to act, but I don't know where to start. So now, Fast forward, here I am, and I'm I'm just loving the process, man. I'm loving this journey. So, 
I got a quick question here, and I and I think your your last answer kind of leads into it pretty well. Oh. So you said that Atlanta was your first acting job, but it was not your first one that was released, according at least according to IMDb, is what I'm seeing, right? That is correct. The first one that was released, and it is I really wouldn't can't release it's it's released, but it was a student film. Okay, right? it was a student film. It was called The Fequo. Um, guy I met by the gentleman I met by the name of Kevin Johnson. He's probably watch him right now what up kev um he reached out to me on backstage and the first thing i wanted to do i wanted to get into action that was that was like i just want to do action i don't want to do nothing else i just want to do action um he ran the script by me i was like yo i love it we started working on it um we were going through the fight sequences and everything and that was that was that was a dope deal for me the second thing and i and jeff you probably see atlanta first but i actually rearranged it okay um the so second the, the first ahead. one i'm seeing and th and that's what brought this up for me was funny for the life of me so yeah so about that um that ain't that's <laughs> <laughs> only one <laughs> only one episode is actually released on that right um, guy named by the name of uh, out of charlotte named tim jameson he was doing that uh it was a web series it's it's unfinished um because it was during the pandemic so right a lot of stuff happened with that but um we did that and i was playing the role of c note the dude yeah. c note was like this clumsy street thug uh he's trying to get some street cred and all kind of other stuff so that was really fun for me because i remember a lot of guys in high school that i, I went to high school with that were lame as fuck trying to be in the street <laughs> 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 really dry for personal experience. I hear yeah, so I was like, you know, this, you know, okay, cool. I just embody them. So yeah, from that, it was it was it was a good time, man. But that that definitely was the first thing I worked on between and that. That and one is also about a stand-up comedian as well. So yes, absolutely. Yeah, the, the, the Jeff that plays the actual he plays squirrel in that. He actually is trying to get into stand-up comedy, but it was it was it was uh it was interesting. I'll okay. say it was definitely interesting. Awesome. Love it. It's a great premise. Yeah, I, as soon as it's finished, whenever we finish it. <laughs> this this is awesome, man. Okay, so that that happens. Then you, it sounds like you went into like was it was it? You said you went to like acting school, or you were in school? yes, yes. I went into uh, there's an acting school here in Greensboro, North Carolina, called In Studio. Uh, the coaches there. Uh, my coach, I started out in beginner's class. It was Drew Matthews. Uh, Drew Matthews <clears throat> has been in the acting game for a while. A uh, young fellow. Uh, he actually just did. Um, shit, to be honest with you, you actually catch him on. Uh, if you watch She-Hulk, he's actually in that. Oh, oh really? really? Oh, yeah. The uh, Do you remember the episode of The Lawyer that thought he was dating Meg the Stallion? Yeah. That's my coach. That's one of my coaches. But The Lawyer? Oh, yes. No fucking way. The one with the brunette hair and he thought yeah. he was Meg the Stallion. Yeah, that's Drew Matthews. He's one of my coaches. Oh right. My that's God. that's it. That's really cool. Great and also, cool. man, like, come on, really? You thought you got Meg the Stallion? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you already know. The first thing I asked him, I'm like, yo, what was it like working with you? He was like, yo, Meg is very cool. She's very funny and she's very quiet. I was like, okay, okay. it's a professional thing to say. So I'm going to let it ride. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, another one of my coaches, uh, Lee Spencer, as I got, you know, as I progressed, I, uh, I'm still being coached by Lee Spencer. He's in like several stuff, man. Walking Dead, uh, House oh, of Cards. Sure. Like he he has a list. He was, a, as a matter of fact, um, I was a big Ninja Turtle fan growing up. Okay. And mm -hmm. he was one of the foot which soldiers. Uh, which Ninja, Ninja Turtle? Turtle? Which Ninja Turtle? Oh, okay. Raphael. I was, okay. I was, I, Raphael. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> he was the best fighter. He was a hothead, yeah. and he fought with emotion. Yeah. yeah, but Michelangelo's got the coolest weapon. I'm just yeah, sorry. I mean, back to you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong with nunchucks, you right? Can't really, right. You, really can't. <laughs> you know, so we're opening a can of worms here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna relinquish my time. <laughs> oh God, I just saw Vanilla Ice and Ninja Turtles <laughs> on Saturday. It was the craziest thing but, uh, I've seen in my yeah. life. So, so Lee was actually one of the foot soldiers in Ninja Turtles Two. When Shredder oh, wow. comes back, he says his face. Okay. So oh yeah, that's Lee Spencer. So, um, so yeah, man, it's, 
honestly talking to you guys and thinking about it, the, the way shit lined up was 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 crazy. Yeah. Like, Cause you know, I'm looking at, I'm like, okay, I got coaches, you know, we're going to be straight. I'm cool. But like when I really sit back and I'm like, yo, these are like coaches, coaches, like they, yeah, man, they're doing work and right. still working. So it's Completely like craft. Yeah, man. So learning from them, you know, it, it's, it's been a blessing, man. It's definitely been a blessing. And I'm still, I'm still, you know, like I said, I'm just enjoying this journey. Being a working actor is not easy. No, I can't. It's imagine. not. Like <laughs> why I quit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like no, but you really, no, Terry. Like you really feel like that. Like, mm-hmm. let's say for example, I get five auditions in one week, right? Mm-hmm. Out of those five auditions, I expect to book. All five. I may book one out of those five, or I may not book at all. And then it just keeps it keeps piling up. And if you book one out of twenty, you're doing damn good. Mm. Like you're doing damn good. But you know, me personally, you know, the competitor in me, I want to make sure I book everything. I want to give you know, my all. And it's really, you have to understand, it's really, it's, it's really not you. Like, you're not the one at fault. It's all about, you know, what they're looking for or what the brand wants. All you can do is just put in the work and give a great ass audition and leave the rest in God's hands, man. For real. Max. I mean, I, I forget which actor it was that I was listening to their autobiography or, or maybe reading it, but they were talking about how, like, sometimes it's even just like, within a height of an inch can be the deciding factor. So it's literally just nothing you can do sometimes. It's literally Facts. just that. Facts. Facts. Absolutely. It looks like you're getting a lot of support from the, the fans out here, bro. Yeah, man. Hey, Sebastian, that's love, man. I appreciate <laughs> you, man. For real. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just an honest person, man. I just, I don't, I don't try to be something that I'm not. I'm just a humble person who loves doing what he's doing. And I feel like this is what I'm called to do. So, mm-hmm. You know, however, however I do it, man. Yeah, bring on your questions for Keith. I hear you. <laughs> Let's grill him. We said we weren't going to grill him. Let's grill him, though. We got to grill him. <laughs> well, we won't be grilling him. Grill it. It'll be the fans. Person. You just heard it. I feel, I feel. But yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just thankful to do what I do and just inspire people with my story, man. Love it. That's what's up, man. I, it's very humbling, man. I, I really, I really love that, Keith. Like. As you progress now in your career, and I and I feel like getting a win like this for sure is just like I don't know. It's 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 so fulfilling, right? You're like, okay, like I'm finally stepping into my own. Like, it if you could if you could have an ultimate project that you that you'd want to do. Um, Wait, I mean, oh <laughs> man, there wasn't even a pause there. <laughs> Damn, Damn. Blake. 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 And you want to you know what's crazy? Uh. <laughs> I figured that was going to be one of the questions, so I had already prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> I already had my answer. I knew it was going to be Blade anyway, but All right. if I had to, if I had to choose an ideal, it would definitely be Blade, man. Like I'm, I'm. First of all, I'm a martial artist. I've been studying martial arts since I was Shit. six. Oh wow. Okay. Um, my, I was, I learned by Grandmaster Jun Ree out of uh, Virginia. He, he was based in the DMV area, so I learned from him, um, and. June Ree actually was one of Bruce Lee's sparring partners. Oh, oh wow. Fuck. Um, okay. So I learned Taekwondo from Grandmaster um, Grandmaster Ree. And from there, I did it till I was about, I got my first degree black and I did it till I was like 12. Then after that, went to high school, played football, lost all flexibility. Then I went back to it and yeah, man, I just I've been I've been a fan of Wesley Snipes and his range, but when he did Blade and what he's done for the MCU, uh, if they if I know I know they got Mahershala Ali being being Blade, right. but if they if I'm just saying if Kevin if Feige, they ever bring him back, like hey, if we ever try to run it back, yeah, man, just holler to boy, I do my own stunts and everything. I promise you, <laughs> it's a, it's a well, multiverse though. It's a multiverse, you know. It is I mean, a multiverse. You can do it. So I could be like a different, you know, yeah. you know, Harry Brooks, and you know, get, get, get going. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we can see how it goes. I mean, we got uh, the Marvel Midnight Suns game coming out. So I mean, like oh, even voice acting, we could throw you in there, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would love to do a voiceover. 
but Ghost Rider, whatever, man. I love oh, it. dude, Ghost Rider would be dope too. You can uh, throw Rider. in a bourbon chicken, a uh, little Easter <laughs> in your Ghost, voice man, acting. Man. Everybody knows what that shit tastes like, man. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> I cannot imagine. Like, I just can't stop picturing you going through Costco, Walmart, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Walking on, on by. Yo, yeah. I might actually do that now. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> matter of fact, I'm gonna go to the mall tomorrow. Right, right. right. <laughs> they got a, a restaurant called The Flaming Walk, and they got like bourbon chicken. Yeah. And I'm gonna actually do that and see if they can <laughs> watch them recognize you and not even offer it to you. Just and, like, and, yeah, oh, right. We already know what he's about. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know he's gonna say, yeah. They're gonna be <laughs> nervous. They just gotta like hold it back. That's why. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, you guys are funny. I love this shit. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> so happy we could like sort of bring it because again, the longer you do this, you're gonna do so many other podcasts. You'll hopefully you don't forget about us along the way. But we're happy yeah. to like you know make this like uh, when I'm I might be your first podcast after you're doing your first acting role ish thing you, are. you know so <laughs> yes. you are. yeah i mean we got the rookie card too you know count uh, up <laughs> nine pull up that question it looks like sebastian had a question for, yeah i saw that for old keith man uh let's see here da, da, da. um on set for atlanta where there are any moments you saw or experiences that were weird crazy strange or cool uh Weird, strange. Crazy. Besides the jeans, yeah. Yeah, besides <laughs> the jeans, that was the only, like, it was like, bro, that's crazy. Like, yeah, I told y'all my size, and y'all, you know what, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, I would say cool, the coolest thing about being on set, Um, I mean, shit, it would have been cool to see everybody, but the coolest thing about being on set was the way everyone treated you. Uh, everyone was respectful, professional, and, you know, it was just, it was all about business, but it was a lot of love in there. Like, yeah. you could feel, it was like a lot of love in there. Even the, from the background, the way they treat, they treated background with love. They treated, you know, guest stars with love. They treated everyone with love, man. And it was just, a, it was a dope vibe. Like, it was a dope vibe, man. It wasn't like, oh, this is just real uncomfortable and off put. It was like. It was like I'm I'm just chilling with the peoples. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Man, that's awesome because I don't know about you guys. I think we're all the same. But, like, when we hear uh, one of our favorite celebrities is, like, really cool, it just makes us feel even better. So I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, but I feel like hearing, like, just the entire show is that cool makes me feel even better and like it even more, too. So that, that's, right. that's a cool thing to hear, man. Yeah, for sure. Man. Definitely, man. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody keep 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 piling in with those with those with the questions. questions. Man, yeah. <laughs> right, right. I got for me. Yeah, I'm gonna do this thing I used to do randomly when I used to interview MMA fighters. Uh, we would always do it closer to the end of the interview, but it'd be uh random ass questions. Before I do that, it looks like Kenya's got a question. Do you prefer working on movies or series? Is there a difference? It's a good question. Thank you, Kenya. Damn, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> do I prefer working on movies or series? Um, I won't really say. I'll say there's really no difference. Mm -hmm. And God, if I if I have to choose, mm -hmm. I'm shit. If I have to choose, I'm gonna oh. say. I'm going to say both. I'm not going to choose either one. Oh, oh, hold on. I'll make it easier for you. If okay. Marvel came to you, they said, here, Blade series. Ooh, Blade, Blade movie. movie. Blade series or Blade movie? We're doing a series. You're doing a series? Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're going to we're do doing, we're series. Doing, okay. we're doing a series. All right. Like, if they, if they gave me a choice, we're definitely doing a series. We're, we're going okay. on Disney Plus, and we're going to make that work. Okay. Um. <laughs> But yeah, right, right now, in, I'll say this: right now, where I am in my career, I don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. I don't have a. Pr I'll say I, I won't say I have a choice. I do yeah, have a choice. I don't have a anything. preference. I don't have a preference. I, I'll, yeah. I like. I'll do movies and series. Like it really don't matter to me. I'm a. Mm -hmm. I'm an actor. This is my craft. This is my gift. So wherever it is, is wherever I'm gonna be. That's what's up. I love it. Nice. I love nice. it. 
All right, let me let me start off with some of these random ass questions. Favorite movie of all time? Ooh, we uh favorite movie of all time, I'm gonna say the wood. Oh, I'm all gonna, right. and, and, and the brown sugar, brown sugar is a is a close That's second. a classic right there, man. It's a close second, but I'm gonna have to say the wood, man. I'm definitely gonna have to say the wood. I love it. Uh John I, I Co- really like the first act of the wood when they do the flashback and they're all high. That's like the best part of it. Oh, me. absolutely. I would constantly watch that part and then kind of turn it off. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the part I like is I, I enjoy seeing how Tay Diggs acted drunk. It, I was like, yo, that's 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 dope. When they was in the, in the house, <laughs> this old flame, that was that was the that was funny as hell to me. I love it. We're getting some real questions in here. This is for you, man. John Copeland, what's up, Simba? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. That's that's my yeah. That's my man's. Um, comedy or action movie series? Um, <clears throat> damn, I don't know, man. That's a good one. I'm I'm gonna say comedy. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say comedy. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with comedy. I like I, I, I could do action movie and series, but I'm gonna go with comedy right now. So, so your, let me ask you a question then. Then why did you want to do an action as your first one? Because I just wanted I, I just want to display what I can do. Like that's very fair. Yeah. It's, in your, to, it's in your I wheel can, set to uh yes. you know, you know, so I'm assuming Martin's you want there. you want to do your own stunts then. Yeah. Absolutely. You know okay, what I'm okay. So that, that I can do more than just act. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be that 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 actor that can do yeah. that and then some. Like Denzel when he did like Equalizer, or even before then when he did the Mighty right. Quinn with Robert Townsend. Like Denzel yeah. has done anything action based. He makes it that it it brings authenticity to yes. the person. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I would be remiss if I let. Joe do mm-hmm. my martial arts sequences when I know I can do that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah. So it just I just want to bring authenticity to the role for real. All right, we're going to be grilling you. We got another one right here. Mm-hmm. Demario. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so Demario, I went to middle. I went to middle school with yo. Me okay. and oh, I, shit. Me and <laughs> like basketball. Like we. Like he and I was like. Like, Demario, oh, if you got embarrassing stories, type them fast, man. My acting technique, I would say Chubbuck. What I would is say that? the Chubbuck technique. It's so it's this. So I've done another acting class outside of in studio, um, Tasha Smith's acting workshop online, and they they grill the Chubbuck technique. That's basically like learning more about the character, their overall objective, their scene objective. What is it that you're trying to get from the character? What, how can you relate to the character? Things like that. And when I, I dialed, when I dialed into that, that technique, it, it feeds on your past traumas to make that person come to life. You know what I'm saying? So, from doing that, it actually, honestly, doing that technique booked me my first my first movie for real. Um, after that, like I recently just wrapped up a film, a feature film, uh, last June. It's a horror film. It's, it's dropping next year. It's gonna be. Oh it's gonna, wow! It's gonna be fire. Shout out to my man Bomani Story directing that. It's gonna be fire. Can but, we ask the name, or is it too early for that? Oh. Uh, you know what? Move on. Said, Ignore me. We're not going to hey. grill it, man. You, hey. you remember that part where I get drunk and ask too much? Go on. No, you're good. Hey, uh, I would tell you the name, but right now, I, I, you know, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to put it out there. But just know, it's a horror film, and it's going to be like that. Trust okay. me. Okay. Okay. Um, in there, it's um, I'm uh, I'm starring alongside uh, Leia Deleon Hayes from the Equalizer series. Mm, okay. Um, nice. She plays, she plays Queen Latifah's daughter in that. Yeah, um, it's awesome in it. Chad Coleman from The Wire, um, mm. mm-hmm. and he was he was Tyrese. Um, he saw Sasha's brother from The Walking Dead, um, oh, and Jesus. and Denzel Whitaker from Black Panther, The Great Debaters. Okay. Uh, Cutthroat City. Yeah. So I got a chance to work with all of them, and then that was an amazing time. Like 
those people are amazing, like inside and out. Like it's no time, for sure. But I would say Chubbuck technique because it, it allows me to play with the traumas that I have in life and really embody who I am and bring me to the, the role and not the role to me. Mm. This is so, dropping gems out here. Damn, I love it. it. Man, <laughs> Sebastian, my, fa- my favorite <laughs> album. Oh, we baby. My favorite album, I'm going to say The Blueprint, man, Jay-Z. Oh, nice. all right. Yes. All right. My favorite album, I'm going to say The Blueprint by Jay-Z, man. Now, if you ask me my favorite song on there, oh, we. They're um, all bangers. They're all bangers, dog. But that you don't know, just do something, man. You don't know, mm-hmm. man. That's- yeah, I'm more of a black album. Uh you know, Yo, Jay-Z black album lit. Don't get me wrong, yeah. black album's lit, but yeah, blueprint can't go wrong with that. Take over, mm-hmm. song cry, man. Those are some jammies. Oh, you already know it. <laughs> <laughs> American, let this- American, now his his album American Gangster was slept on. Now Blue Magic was hard. That yeah. was that was that was dope. That was some dope stuff. <clears throat> It's good, good tracks. Last five minutes out there, guys. If y'all out there in YouTube land, you want to ask our boy Keith some questions Question before he gets too. on out of here. For sure, for sure, hit him up. Uh, I'm producer T, man. Jeff, any questions? Uh, third favorite color. Mm-hmm. Third, third favorite color. Third favorite color, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say crimson. Damn good answer. I've never gotten that one before. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a fraternity thing. I, mm. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, okay. so I'm, gonna I'm gonna bring it back to Atlanta. Okay. Uh, I mean, what, what do you feel is gonna happen and be the ending for the series? Oh, prediction! Yeah. Prediction! Hmm. Also, wondering if he maybe saw a little more than he was supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. I didn't. I tried. But I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> um. Bro, I'm gonna be. Oh God, a prediction. I'm probably. The way this episode ended, I think something's gonna happen to Paperboy. I don't know what, but I think something. It's gonna been the fan theory, yeah. Something happening to Paperboy or um, to to. Or, uh, but earn, I think uh, I think I don't even. It might be Darius. Like it might be might Darius happen. that happens to him or does uh, something. Yeah, like, like, not not earn, you know, because you, I mean you got to think about it, man. Like. Okay, it's one it's one theory to say something might happen to paperboard and a decent twist you would expect earned, but right. mm-hmm. you, ain't gonna, you ain't gonna expect the, the weird Darius, thing. I, Darius. I'm on I'm on the, the bad innocent. things happen to Darius train. Most yeah, of them want to be there, but <laughs> a lot of bad things happen to like that. people though. Well mm-hmm. writing. Without throwing spoilers out there, if you read Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin, yeah, innocence. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> yeah. For all the Ninja Turtle fans out there. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love it. A what a time, man. Yeah, man. Got any more questions, man? I wish I got like two more minutes, three. All right. So, Blade, I'm guessing Blade's your favorite Marvel character. Who's your favorite DC? My favorite DC character. And I'm not even being spoiled. Or, or, or if you prefer, DC character you would want to play. Oh. Mm. Damn. Two. I have two. Okay. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. It's your episode, man. Yeah. I <laughs> you have a good point there. Um, I would want to play static. Yes. I would love to play yep. static. And it, it, it probably will never happen. I'm not sure, but I would love to be Bruce Wayne. Oh, okay. man, that'd be so good. Yeah. I would, you know, in a different time frame or universe i would love to play bruce mm-hmm. Lee. i would love to wouldn't mind green lantern but it's it's i've always let's i'll say this without being too deep um bruce wayne and i we have a lot of similarities <laughs> in terms of yeah i peep you now I peep <laughs> justice trauma wise bruce and i go hand in hand i'll say yeah. that and i'll leave it uh, at that. okay um well hey i'll tell you what uh you know batman beyond absolutely terry mcginnis they're coming out with a comic starring batman beyond and static yeah oh that's gonna be lit yep yep gonna be lit keith it sounds like we're gonna have to have you on when we break down more like 
comic book yeah. movie stuff. I uh, think. Yeah. I think. Hey, just let me know. <laughs> what about the Blade series, huh? Hey, hey, I'm I'm witty. If Feige is even watching, hey man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, or just put a pause on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, got, I, got I got the. I got. The, so all right. So I'm doing a fan film right now. I'm working okay. on a fan film with Blade. Um. That that's actually going to be lit. Um, I did a I did a trailer for it like some time ago, but I'm actually working on a fan film. Just to uh, is the trailer it. out? Uh, yeah, it's actually on my Instagram. Fuck okay, yeah, we're gonna have to take a look at that. Yeah, yeah. We're so again, this man. this blade is actually I'm not the blade, but it's a what if like what if blade had a son? Okay, okay. and he basically picked up the mantle that you know that blade left behind. And the the main antagonist is Lucas Cross. If you read the comics, oh. Lucas Cross is actually Blade's father. Right. So Blade actually has a daughter in the comics, Fallon Gray. She's actually my sister. She's in the fan film as well. Damn. And of course, I brought in Detective Hannibal King. Uh, King um, uh, Blade's real teacher, Jamal Lafari, not Whistler. Mm. So we all know Whistler, but Blade actually had a legit teacher that, that found him, trained him. He was a jazz musician, and he was turned into a vampire by Dracula. His name is Jamal Afari. Look it up. I ain't playing. Okay. I'm sure. to deep, that's some deep canon right there. Uh, yeah, we're, we're getting deep in the lore. <laughs> I'm playing. Oh, my name uh, is- I, I did have uh, one more question. Um, uh, have you or did you ever do a crank that dance? In <laughs> just want to let, just want to know, just want to know. Just put it out there, Keith. Yes. Did, which, which, which crank that dance did you do? It, it wasn't. It wasn't. It, it was crank that yank. Crank that yank. So it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. The, uh, it wasn't the Superman. It wasn't the Batman. But um, it was around work of two thousand seven because. Soldier Boy had North Carolina in a chokehold. Like when I was in college, he had him. I mean, he invented YouTube. Yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one of my teammates used to play this video called Crank That Yank. Like it's crank, crank that yank. I was like, oh, bro, this is horrible. But when he scored and he actually cranked that yank, I cranked the yank with him on the sideline when he came back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And that was the only time I did it. No one else seen it. And oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh, <my> God. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that thing up. Catch it. Let's ride. Uh, oh, <laughs> you're really hitting that. You're really hitting that. <laughs> oh, my God. Amazing. Oh, I'm so man. happy. <laughs> what a time, man. Yo, I, I love fun, it. Man. I really have fun. We got one more question. I want to get it get it out of the way, and then we can get on, on. out of here from DeMario. It looks like. What are the boundaries you have as a person when it comes to acting roles? DeMario, Dude, DeMario I, with good questions. I, yeah. I will not compromise my integrity and my belief in morals. The way my mother brought me up, uh, she brought me up in the church. Um, so my relationship with the most high is always and forever will be the focal point of my life. And if any role comes my way to where I feel I may jeopardize that, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to give it to the next person. I'm sorry. It's nice. nothing. It's 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 nothing against you. It's nothing against the the role or anyone like that. I'm just not the person that can bring this to life. And it would it would be selfish of me to take that role, knowing good and hell well I can't I can't deliver that. Yeah, it's, I feel like that's fair enough, man. Everybody has their ethics or morals, and um, something like a job, really a career, like shouldn't shouldn't interfere with it. You you stand by what you stand by, and I think that's what makes you a person. At Absolutely. the end of the day, you know what I mean. I love it, um, Keith. It's 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 been a hell of a time, man. Having having you on, yo. Uh, I just want to say thank you so much, man, for for like yeah. coming on. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, for sure, Keith. So, so people can find you, uh, follow your journey, like because it feels like it's just getting started. Let people know where they can find you online. Yeah, just take over the show. It's blast right. yourself, man. All right. Um, what's going on, everybody out there? This is actor Keith Holiday, man. If you want to follow me, go on Instagram underscore Keith Holiday, K E I T H H O L L I D A Y. 
not one L, but two. Same on Twitter as well. I had to go ahead and make that together. <laughs> um, if you're on Facebook, it just comes up, Keith K. Holla, Holiday. So just follow me. Um, I'm not really active on my Instagram like that unless I drop some stuff. But just know that my Instagram story, I post on there a lot. Um, so just just follow me, man. And we're just going to see. We're just going to ride this, this train together, man, for sure. It's a journey. For sure, for sure. We're happy to uh, catch you right in, right in the beginning of it, man. And it's been a pleasure over here. Pleasure. Thank you so much, man. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's it's been a blast for everybody. And as we're exiting, let's just all blast ourselves real quick. Uh, Jeff, where can people find you if they want to talk about all things Atlanta? Uh, you can try and find me, uh, Jeff Madel, on Facebook. Uh, you can try and Skype at uh, Don Chiel's driveway at littledicky2.com. It's a uh, because the hackers for the hackers it's, yeah. it's because of hackers yeah <laughs> uh uh hey if you're in austin this weekend uh sunday try and find me over at the uh, tattoo expo i'm hoping to get me another uh give me a tattoo for a pretty reasonable price maybe i'll see you there love it love it terry where can people find you if they want to talk about all things atlanta uh, just go to my Instagram at Terry F Photos, especially if you were an extra guest star, writer, producer. If you just know somebody that worked on Atlanta, please reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get these guest shows going. Yeah, I love it. Yes, we want to. We want to have so many more of these. Uh, Nine. Why are you muted? Oh, baby. Oh, I thought it was baby. just me. Uh, thank you very much, Terry, for making sure that we got connected with Keith and this will all yes. went smoothly. Uh, Producer T looking out for nine nerd yards. Thank you. Right. And you can find nine. Where can they find you? Uh, right here on YouTube <laughs> and also on Instagram, uh, uh, TikTok, Twitter mostly. Um, but also I have a Patreon where I am going over season one of Atlanta. I just posted the episode two there uh, uh, of season one, and that's an exclusive, and that's just $1. And we also have the Nine Nerd Yards Discord where over 200 people are just talking and gabbing and theorizing about the rest of the show. Um, please come join us. I think there's still a lot to discuss, especially as the series comes to a close. Love it. Love hey, it. Uh, hey, Blake. Huh? Where can people find you, man? Huh. Thought you'd never ask. You can <laughs> find me, Money Blake, whether Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and you can find me here every Thursday on Nine Nerd Yards doing the recaps with all the great panel here. And just if you're watching, these are not replacing nines. Uh, breakdowns. Oh, yeah. I just, oh, I just, yeah. nine. Can you just tell people these are not replacing your brain? They're not replacing them. Uh, I just dropped episode four review. Um, episode five is cooking. It's almost done. It's just in the works right now. And of course, I'll be getting to Keith's episode. Um, and hopefully, that'll all just be dropping within the next week, and we'll be catching up. So, yeah, For sure. these aren't replacing shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it twisted all right <laughs> there you go you gotta get gangster with them sometimes well i want to thank everybody for tuning in thank you so much and whether it's the replay whether you're listening to it morning evening afternoon whatever time you're listening to this we all appreciate you and until the next time we will see you peace peace <laughs>